after my sixth book was released, hit the Times list here in the States, I submitted a novel to my editor, and she calls and says, we don't want it. And I'm like, Are you, can I rewrite it? Or she's like, no, I don't, don't want any of it. I sat down and I said, okay, what, I gotta write something, what am I gonna do? And out of the process of the next several weeks, a story bubbled up, and that story became The Mountain Between Us. So, I didn't dream about writing a novel until I was 27, and I was probably afraid to. Writing novels was what all those people in Barnes & Noble did with the huge faces on the wall. Like, I would walk in there and be intimidated by all those, you know, ginormous faces. But they didn't start out as them. So one day it just hit me. I've been writing short stories forever. Why can't you just string them together and try a novel? So I did, and that, that book became The Dead Don't Dance, which was my first novel. Before I got published, my first book, The Dead Don't Dance, was rejected 86 times. I landed on a Wall Street Journal article of F. Scott Fitzgerald, and this side of paradise was rejected 126 times before it was picked up. So I, that was like my marker. As I began sending out queries, as Christy and I did, and a query then was much different than today. I mean, it was actually printed first 40 to 60 pages of your book and a cover letter where you're begging somebody to give you the time of day they all started coming in, just no, no, no. And I got 86 of those. Personal formula for success. Well, you get, like in, inherent in the question is that I figured it out in the first place. And I don't know that I have. If you went to work every day, you would get up, you go to work every day. So treat this like work. Writing is work. So, and don't wait on the muses because they're never on time. And usually what they have to say isn't any good anyway. So just plant your fanny in the seat and get to work and write. Even in the days when the words don't come, you know, and you're just sitting there and I've just made myself figure out, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna sit here and get this done. There are a lot of other things I could be doing or wanna be doing, but I have a lot of friends who can write one or two books, maybe three. I think getting beyond that takes sort of a shift. And I'm not sure what that shift is, but it has something to do with sweating. And I've said, I've said it, I think I sweat my books more than I write them and I'm a better rewriter than writer. So a lot of times I'll just kind of spit it out on the page and then I'll say, well, I'll come back to it later. What would I tell the 16 year old Charles Martin? That's a great question. Dream, pal. <laughs>